The irony is that Americans have been experiencing a lot of change in their lives attributable to these historic events. And some of these changes have distressed many American families. Job loss, failing schools, prohibitively expensive health care, pensions at risk, entitlement programs approaching bankruptcy, rising gas and food prices, to name a few. But your government often acts as if it is completely unaware of the changes and hardships in your lives. And when government does take notice, often it only makes matters worse. For too long, we have let history outrun our government's ability to keep up with it. Our disgraceful failure to do so here in New Orleans exposed the, exposed the incompetence of government at all levels to meet even its most basic responsibilities. The wrong change looks not to the future, but to the past for solutions that have failed us before and will surely fail us again. You know, I have a few years on my opponent, <laughs> so I'm surprised that a young man is bought into so many failed ideas. Like others before him, he seems to think government is the answer to every problem, that government should take our resources and make our decisions for us. That type of government doesn't trust Americans to know what's right or what's best in their own interests. It's the attitude of politicians who are sure of themselves but have little faith in the wisdom, decency, and common sense of free people. That attitude created the unresponsive bureaucracies of big government in the first place. And that's, and that's not change we can believe in. 